Ten minutes after six o'clock, a man from Surrey who was robbed last month is launching a website that he says he hopes will help law enforcement identify criminals. We'll call him by his first name only, Fabio. He doesn't want his last name used for what he calls security reasons. Says it's not about being a vigilante, but helping police identify unknown suspects. And I know that some people have an issue about, you know, anybody can post anything, and you know, personal vendetta can be, you know, uh, use uh, this website for. But I have total control of what can be posted. You have to give the police, uh, uh, you know, the evidence first, and you have to get, have a file number. Our reporter, Brett Manier, is here. What's he trying to do? Well, it all started for him after his own home was targeted. He had a, a video security system in his house, and, uh, you know, when he took a look at the video, when the police showed up, uh, the guy had looked right into the camera, and there was his face, and... Um, you know, with that, uh, you know, the police took the tape, and I guess there was some trouble identifying him, and he told me that, you know, a light went on in his head. Why not uh, these kinds of images out to the public and help the police bust these guys, identify these guys? Somebody knows who they are. So let's uh, create a forum, kind of like YouTube, and the way the website is laid out is very much like YouTube. It looks like it's based on the same kind of software. And um, this is the idea, and he's hoping that law enforcement will use it. But what about ordinary people? How do you actually access? What do you do? How do you get to this thing? Well, you just go crooktube.com, and you, you just you just go there, and then I guess you have to uh, open some kind of uh, some kind of an account. It doesn't cost anything or anything like that. And um, once you've got an account, you can upload videos, providing that you have uh, you know a police file and all that, and you adhere to his terms of use uh, policy. He's more. He told me that he's more interested in having the police and law enforcement use it, but from now he's uh, just got a few samples up, uh, you know, that he's got from very, like, baitcar.com and that kind of thing, just to sh demonstrate how it works while he goes and demonstrates this to the different law enforcement agencies. So is this just local for now, like BC or Vancouver, or how widespread is this thing? Just local for now, but he's, you know, he's hoping that it catches on, um, because, you know, law enforcement already uses YouTube. We've seen that in a few cases where they've gone and posted various videos on the net, and it has, uh, uh, you know, resulted in some arrests and whatnot that way. So, you know, he's hoping that it'll catch on. The man's website is called Crooktube, one word, crooktube.com, 613. This is the CKNW Morning News with Philip Dill.